Matrix 2. From Back Office, go to Inventory, then click Matrix 2. Matrix 2 is a very useful tool that shows all product attributes and allows you to make changes to your product data. It also allows you to make different types of inventory transactions. First, let's search for a product. If you know the product number, you can type it in the product field and click search. You will see your search results displayed above. If you do not know the number of the product you are looking for, or if you would like to see a group of products, there are many other search options. You can search a combination of group, subgroup, and sub subgroup then you can narrow this search by choosing a vendor or you can see all products for this vendor use any combination of search parameters to find the products you are looking for when you search for a product, the information for that product will appear in the grid below. If you would like to see the search options again, click More. To close the search options and view the product details, click Less. Click More to perform another search. Let's remove the vendor and view all products for the spring summer season that have activity after January 1st. This list of search results is longer than our previous search. To view more search results at once, click the downward double arrow to open this up. To view fewer search results, click the upward double arrow. To return to the vendor search, click More and delete the Season and Update search parameters. Then choose a vendor and click Search. The information displayed in the upper grid is based on your chosen view. The default view is on hand. The end of each line shows the total quantity for that line. Scroll to the bottom of the list for the totals by size. To show the values for one store only, click the Display Store drop-down and select the store you would like to see. To show a single color, Click the color you would like displayed in the color box. Notice that now only black is shown. To show all colors, click All. If the color description is longer than the color code, it will be shown on the divider line when that color is highlighted. For this product, the color code navy has a description of navy blue. Click the Colors header to consolidate the totals for all stores. Click Summary to show the details by store. To change the view, click the drop-down arrow and make a selection. Click Order to view the quantities you have on order. To see the open purchase orders that contain this product, Click the drop-down arrow below against PO. Click Sold to see the quantity sold for a specific date range. Enter the desired date range and click OK. Or click From Inception to see the entire quantity sold throughout the life of the product. Let's return to the on-hand view. 
You can perform many different types of transactions from Matrix 2. You can receive merchandise, return product to a vendor, add UPCs, change prices, even create a new PO. All transactions are performed the same way, and most are covered in separate training clips, so here we will focus on transferring inventory between stores. Choose the transaction type in From Store. In the Store dropdown, select the From Store. This is the store that is sending the merchandise. In the grid, enter the quantities to be transferred. We chose Store 1 as the From Store, and we entered the quantities in the grid for Store 2. This will cause these quantities to be transferred from Store 1 to Store 2. You can assign a reference number or leave this field blank, and a system-generated reference will be assigned. When you are finished, click Finalize. You will see that the on-hand quantities in the top grid are updated immediately upon finalizing. You can also transfer in reverse by choosing the transaction type to Recall. In this case, the store you select from the dropdown is the To store, the store that is receiving or recalling the merchandise from another location. In the grid, enter the quantities to be transferred. In this example, we chose Store 2 as the 2 store, and we entered the quantities in the grid for Store 1. This will cause the quantities entered to be transferred from Store 1 to Store 2. Assign a reference number if needed, then click Finalize. Again, the on-hand quantities are updated immediately. To change a product's attributes, double-click on the product in the search results. All of the product information is displayed. Let's add a vendor product code, a brand, and a season. Then let's allow coupons and discounts on this product. When you are finished making changes, click Save. Now let's double-click that product again. You can make other changes to this product by clicking the buttons at the bottom of the window. Here you can change a size scale, change a color, or change the product number. When finished, click Bye Bye. More functions can be performed by right-clicking on a product from the list of search results. You can load the Add Item module, create a product in all stores if it currently does not exist in all locations, change your product's size scale or colors, view price changes histories, or combine two products that are the same. To exit Matrix 2, click Bye Bye.